Welcome to your next tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be learning about um, we'll be making a triangle object so that we can draw triangles a little bit better, and this will allow us to handle objects directly instead of just passing in random coordinates and wondering what happens to them. So the first thing we want to do is there used to be a void draw cube in here. You want to delete that. Um, and draw a triangle just for now delete that and and here you also want to delete all that and I know it has coordinates right there I tried recording the video earlier didn't work so we'll just delete everything in there also to delete the draw cube right here and there's a file around here that says draw cube get rid of that too and if you run it it shouldn't give us any errors getting rid of all the draw cubes um, so, you know, oh, hold on, I forgot to mention something. In my other tutorial, what I had done is I went up here, and what we did is last time we were having a problem because, um, this had an end L. We got rid of that, and it worked, and instead of having 1,000, or 100 here, we changed this to 5,000 so that you can see it when it comes up. So, run in regular mode. J or um, J and then since J didn't equal N or N we will run in regular mode okay and then you'll see nothing draws that's exactly what we want before we um, <coughs> make our triangle object we're going to do a few things first we want to uh, right click on here um, add new virtual folder and we'll just name this object files and you'll see why we're doing this later object files another thing we want to do is add new virtual folder draw and what these virtual folders allow us to do is they're they don't actually exist they're just for um, grouping and so you don't have to worry about you know oh can this be this these folders actually don't exist they're just for grouping things so we're going to move all our draws up into there for object files we're going to have nothing so you should have it run like this and just in case you're wondering it still runs normal okay and here you want to right click add new virtual folder and mama draw or type in draw primitives okay that that's fine and what you'll do is you drag the draw square and the draw triangle and then you can minimize that for now also um draw triangles gone get rid of this right that that's fine we already had that um <coughs> okay so what we're going to do is in our object files we're going right click add new virtual folder and we're going to type in vertices um hold on let me do something real fast this is um draw cube I'm, I'm deleting some stuff and um yeah that's it if you notice if you go into your directory and you see these files wherever you saved a project we we'll still have a file called draw cube you want to get rid of that I have these other files you shouldn't have those because again I tried doing a tutorial so I just believe that and just empty my recycle bin. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new vertice object. And in here, we're going to add a new file, a new header. Just name this um, vertex. And you'll see why we're doing this later. Finish. Actually, you'll see why we're doing this real quickly. But I kind of have to show you. Drag vertice vertex into vertices um, new file C++ source next click on this same thing vertex save all finish and okay so we have that taken care of right now you can get rid of that and you can get rid of that um, go ahead and uncomment this I guess it doesn't matter just um, leave it okay so in vertices the first thing you want to do is include super 
header dot eight. Okay, you remember that. And include vertex dot eight. And remember, vertex dot eight includes super header. Just for those who don't remember. We're gonna be making a new class. Woo! And not those boring math classes either. This is gonna be an interesting class. We're gonna name this class vertex. And unlike Java, you have to have a semicolon after. So what you want to do is you want to type in, we're going to be making a constructor. And this is really easy, C++. If you don't know any of this, then you guys should not be up, up at OpenGL just yet. Um, we'll go ahead and make everything over here public, including the constructor. And private will do our um, GL float X, um, Y, and Z. And in here, this will take three arguments, x, or, um, x, loc, or no, you know what be a better idea, loc, x, um, gl, int, loc, y, and, you probably guessed it, gl, int, um, loc, z, right? And this will be pretty, pretty easy, um, x equals loc, x y equals loc y z equals loc z and then you can also do um, gl int get x and you know what really like I guess we have this vertex .cpp go ahead and get rid of that I, um, right click remove this file from project um, no just get rid of that Go back into your directory, which for me is right here. Find vertex, the CPP. It's important you don't get rid of the header, because that's what we're using right now. So, GL and get x, return x, GL and get y, return y. Ooh, big surprise. GL and get z. And, oh, I wonder what this is going to return return z um we have that and we can do a little bit more with vertexes for now this is a good start um what we can also do is add new virtual folder and we'll um, be making a new folder called color and i'll show you what this is for also make a file make it a header and we'll name this color Save. I'll finish. Um, include super header dot h, and let me guess. We'll be making a class called color. Who would have knew? All right. Um. And I think I'll stop right there because this tutorial is getting a little lengthy. Um, next tutorial we'll be dealing with color and we might get started on pulling our triangle object together. Until then, see you later.